after I went through and started tearing things apart and realized, no, the worst of the worst had happened, I just broke down. This battleground start. mom says she is out of a job. Someone stole expensive photography time. gear from her locked minivan. She depends on that gear to, to make a living. As KGW's Rachel Raffinelli reports, she has a message for the person who stole her camera and a warning about leaving personal belongings inside the car. So I do birth photography, wedding, seniors. Corey Nicole's love of photography shows on her business website really and on the walls of her home. The single yeah, mom channels this passion to provide for her two daughters, seven-year-old Dylan and nine-year-old Devin. So Monday, I'm October 23rd, the three no looked forward to a special day. early morning yeah, trip to Disneyland. 12.30 that morning, Nicole couldn't sleep, so she pre-packed the family van in their quiet battleground neighborhood. Put my camera gear, wallet, carry-on, Devin's hoverboard, so that way we could at least get three hours of sleep. She even locked the doors, but when the family went to go to the airport... And I noticed that like it was torn apart, this inner console was. They like, realized the someone that. stole everything, the including the photography gear. For almost three hours straight, we were looking, cried for about the whole time. It breaks my heart because um, that's how I take care of my kids. She called police and used Facebook to let clients know what happened. In the end, the family was still able to go to Disneyland, and Nicole has a message for others about leaving belongings in the car, even for a couple of hours. But just be extra cautious, because unfortunately this is the world that we live in, and not everybody has the same mindset or the same heart that some of us do. She also has a message for the thief. And I hope that karma brings you exactly what you deserve. In Battleground, Rachel Raffinelli, KGW News. Mm, Corey says she probably won't be able to take professional photos for the rest of the year, but says she is determined to get back up on her feet and start up her business again next year.